Ladies and gentlemen, Africa is grappling with solid waste related challenges compounded by the ongoing rapid urbanization. The United Nations predicts that two thirds of Africans will reside in urban areas by 2050, amplifying the solid waste issues we are addressing today. It is commendable to witness the involvement of the leadership of the states and provinces in the zero waste campaign that we are launching today. The impact of improper solid waste management is felt more by women and children, particularly in urban settlements that lack proper waste management infrastructure. Plastic waste in particular poses a threat to urban drainage systems and water sources, affecting marine life and dangerously seeping into various food chains. In Kenya, waste management is a priority area. The National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, reports indicates that Kenya generates an estimated 22,000 tons of waste daily. In partnership with Nairobi County, the government aims to clean the city of Nairobi by converting waste and refuse into electricity. Many other waste management initiatives are being run at the county government level. It's educating women on the benefits of clean cooking and linking them to clean cooking systems providers and supporting the youth in establishing recycling projects in urban settlements to convert plastic waste into valuable products, including roofing tiles, floor tiles, and fencing posts. The Zero Waste Campaign is an opportunity to transform waste management into an economic venture for women and youth fostering circular and green enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, a key aspect of ensuring gender equality is empowering women and girls through education, skills development, and exposure. This in turn enables them to empower their families and communities, producing sustainable social and economic impact. In January 2020, Kenya government implemented a 100% transition from primary to secondary school in support of this policy. Mama Doing Good has implemented various initiatives to ensure all learners, both girls and boys, enroll and stay in school. One of the programs, Mama Feeding, aims to safeguard vulnerable children and ensure continuous education. We are currently providing school-based meals to over 5,000 children in informal settlements, in rural, in urban and rural areas, and also in arid and semi-arid areas of our country. As a champion and voice for children in Kenya, I am advocating for the right to education for all children in Kenya, with a focus on influencing policy directions that remove and barriers to school enrollment, attendance, and transition.